thing I'm most excited about tonight? What do you got? Is this movie trivia game. Um, Alyssa Milano? That is correct. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Matthew Broderick. No! Try Senator Stott. Try Senator Oh no! no. Try Senator Stott! Why would I do so? Did he drop the board? Oh, no. Board, 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 board. 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 It is all time. Mark this Ellis. is heated. <laughs> Uh, it was your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. That's the famous Stallone mug. I want to know if you do yourself the honor of maybe like kind of marrying me. <laughs> that blue fairy thing screw, screw Yeah. Me. Watch Pinocchio. It's the blue fairy guy. Uh, Whoa. Wow. We just went explicit. Wow. Arlov is upset. Dude. Yeah. Don't even look me in the eye. He's he's upset about that blue fairy. He's red in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Harlov. That blue fairy sucks my balls. I uh, I got the right answer. How many, How many points? points? I did not bet enough points. What? JT is I win? the winner! I'm a, I'm a firm believer in trial and error. And I believe my client is on trial. It's in error. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Riley is your winner. Advancing to the next round. <laughs> this is a destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Jute has no points left, and Mark Riley is the winner. All right, Riley, Damn. you won the entire Ultimate Shimoda, and you get to go. Peace out, Mother S. April 13th. The Odd Couple, Jeff Snyder and Mark Andreco heading to Chicago. Even though they're odd, they are capable of working together. You're a force to be reckoned with and you can take it all the way. Going up against Ben Bateman and Riley, who's the boss for a shot to play for the team championship? 2019, we're getting a belt. That's the one goal I want. I can't wait to beat Bateman again. Uh, there's no way I'm going to get nervous on that stage. I was born to compete. I was born to perform. Can anyone beat you? And Mr. Alex Damon, Star Wars, explained himself, puts his title on the line, and it goes down during Star Wars celebration. This is just what I do all day, every day. It's hard to stump me. Riley's a legend, okay? He's on Mount Rushmore, and I'm lucky enough to play with somebody with class, a true champion who's taught me a lot about this game. And I'm going to give him a show in Chicago. You can bet on that. Buy your tickets right now. Get your tickets now to SchmodownLive.com. Just make sure you're there in person. You do not want to miss it. Corinna, Corinna. I, I, I'm simply saying, not a suitable film for a Schmodown question. I think there was a fix in. I think people here mm. don't want to talk about serious cinema. Uh, understood. If, if only the Schmodown had more respect for the classics of cinema, we would have won the belts easily. We are going to come back, we are going to get over those illegitimate titles, and those titles will be ours. Indeed. Over my almost dead body. What? How, how long have you been standing there? I would tell you to ask your brother, but he can't answer anything these days. Oh, I see you're a New England Patriots fan, is that right? Of course. Well, I have something to show what you. Guys? What is this? What, what is this? Are these lacrosse competitors? These were the last legitimate Super Bowl champions, the Eagles of Philadelphia. Oh just, my. Yeah. Hold on, does he carry this around? Gentlemen, the gentlemen, there's no time to discuss rugby right now. Listen, this is what's happening here, guys. I've been watching from afar, and as I was recovering, mm, I was right. watching the show down closely, mm. and I couldn't believe how many questions you could not get right. This guy was been carrying you. Literally, I gave you a pathway to the title. We would have won that thing easily. Oh, I do and then that. he brings you in. Well, he figured if you can't if he even... carried me, he would literally have been carrying you in your shattered pelt. Listen, I respect you if only because you were injured well, by birds. Well, stop right there because I don't respect you and I don't respect oh, your game. I'm here goodness. to challenge you to a match. Challenge we me? should be the champions. We would have been the champions. What a surprise. There's more Schmodown competitors standing in a doorway yelling about allegiances and who should be whose partner, etc., etc., and so forth. 
This is an office, you know, guys. There's people who are. Why is she here? Why is she talking? I am the commissioner of the inner geekdom and team leads now. Yes. What happened while I was gone? This place went to crap, man. It did not go to crap. It actually cleaned up quite a bit. Anyway. The rest of us took lifts and arrived safe. Enough. I understand that there is a little bit of an argument as to who should be Lon Harris's partner in the Schmodown going Indeed. forward. I understand, argument? JTE, that unfortunately, due to some circumstances uh, involving your physical health, you were unable to continue to compete as part of the Evil Geniuses. Now, the Harris brothers have been having a pretty good run, but I understand. <laughs> There's no dispute. Lon. I want to challenge this guy. And I want to take him out of this league, and I want to go on the run that we we're supposed to go on and win those mm. titles. Great. Jonathan, JT, you guys are going to play one another in a match. I hear you yelling about how you want to take one another on. Great. Do it. I, I say that is going to happen. Film trivia as opposed to football. That is correct, Understood. yes. There, okay. I, I don't want to see either of them attempt football. I, no right. If you win, then the evil geniuses will be reunited. You will go back to your original record of 1-0, oh, really? but you will be a team again. However, if I win, if Jonathan wins, what and regardless, happens? Jonathan, you're going to come out on top of this because if you lose, you're going to be their manager. Ah, fine. Some bureaucracy, just what correct. we need. Administrative oversight at last. Jonathan, if you win, then you get to choose JTE's partner for the remainder of this season of the mm. showdown. <gasps> Mike Pence. A festive gambit. You don't even have to, that's not even gonna happen, so you don't have to worry about that. Cool. And a cactus could be our manager. You literally could put a plant. Ah, thorny. And would take the, the a thorny problem. scheme, I see. It's just terrible. Aren't you a pair of Bob Le Flambeurs? Delightful. I don't know what either of you are saying. And I cannot tell you how overjoyed I am to be at the desk with the one and only Danielle Radford. Hello, welcome. <laughs> oh, hello. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I choked on Meat Stick. Uh, I love Meat Stick. Meat Stick, good. And you and I are going to have a lot of fun here today, Danielle. You've been jumping into this movie trivia showdown world, but I know you know stories. You know wrestling. I we do. both love teams and tag teams, right? Yes, absolutely. What are some of your tag team, favorite tag teams of all time? Ooh, The Rockers, a really yeah. good one, which is, uh, you know, the, the Marty Janelli. Of course, I appreciate I'm liking the Young Bucks and all the stuff young they're doing Bucks, right now. Absolutely. Uh, Demolition, one of my all-time teams. But there's a fine line, Danielle, you can, you can uh, agree with me here, between a championship-caliber team like, say, your all-timers, like the Demolitions, the Steiner Brothers, uh, the Brain Busters, and a team like, say, the Beverly Brothers that doesn't quite get to the contention. Ooh. We're talking 90s wrestling here today. You've got to make a name for yourself in Teams Division. Absolutely true. Not everyone's going to be DX. Not everyone is going to be DX indeed, but we are going to have a lot of fun. These two teams, here's the stories here. We got a team that you guys have seen before, Inky and the Brain. Uh, they uh, were thrown together in the Anarchy Tournament, took on an early form of corruption, also thrown together. I wasn't around in their corner, per se, that uh, I was just getting my way around the corporation, I should say. Rachel and Devon, uh, took corruption to the level. There was uh, an Andre 2000, Andre 3000 mix-up, Danielle. I understand. That, his more popular younger brother. Right. By a millennia. Um, so uh, that, that could have changed the course of history. Uh, you, you were watching the competitors before the game. We're going to hear the comments in a second. But Egan and the Brain are out to kind of prove themselves here. And, you know, and I, what do you think? Because I think that they can. I think that they are working really hard. I think that they want to show that one mess up in a thousand years isn't going to be <laughs> what defines them as a team. I agree with you. I got here early. We've been shooting for 28 hours today. And <laughs> Rachel was here before me studying, getting ready. And Devon's got some sweet socks that I know he's bringing some spirit to this matchup here. But on the other side, we got some players who are making their team's debut. They, they, they made their Schmodown debut at the free-for-all. So happy all of you came out to watch that. It was a big, giant event. But it's the movie, guys. Paul and Adam, and look, they are. This is their debut. Talk about proving themselves. They are proving themselves. A lot of 
pressure, do you think, Danielle, on a team making their debut? Uh, you know, I, there always is pressure, but if you watch them, they don't seem to be feeling the pressure. They are coming in confident. They're coming in hot, as one might say. They mm -hmm. definitely at least feel like they know what they're doing. There's always pressure, like eating Italian food after 40. This is going to be interesting here today. Uh, the movie guys, I'll tell you what, it is a name in this industry, uh, this media discussion world that I know and trust. They've been around for a long time, so you know that they know movies. And I think, though, we've said enough. It's time to go to the promos to see what these teams had to say. Hi, guys. It's Rachel with Inky and the Brain. I um, don't really know where my teammate is, but we're really excited for the match. And Hello! Oh, Diddy, I'm here. I know you were waiting for me, dear, of course. De Devin, it's, it's Inky and the Brain. It's not Kingsman. We talked about this. This is what I have to work with. We're gonna do a good match, and uh, these guys are coming in. Oh, hey, hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> there we go, much better. Yeah, I don't know who that guy was. We are the movie guys. We made a splash at the free for all, and you know, we're coming to take everything. Yeah. So yeah, these movie guys. Yeah, they think they're hot stuff. Yeah, yeah. right, like, <laughs> come on. You're going against Inky and the Brain. Brain is in our title, Brain Drain all day pain game. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna take on Inky and the Brain. I mean, respect for a team that names himself after a Pac-Man ghost, that's all good. Movie guys. Uh-huh, we're the movie guys. They don't even have movie in their name. If you looked at their name, there's no movie. They have a, they have an and in their name. We don't even have that. We did Ampersand. away with it. We didn't mess around with no Ampersand. Uh-uh. So everyone was talking about corruption and how they're all these, like, big dudes and gonna take over the league. We almost beat them. They think that we're just gonna be stepping in stones. We're gonna be a brick wall. Stepping stones. <laughs> Excuse me? Listen, here's the thing about movies maybe you don't understand. Oh, listen, let's go. All right, right at the top, they give you the title, all right? And then they tell you who's in it. And then it's two hours or 90 minutes, if it's a Woody Allen movie, of spoilers of everything that happens in the movie. And at the end, they tell you who made it. <laughs> okay, so all you gotta do is pay attention, bro. Just pay attention. And this guy right here, look at the brain. Check out the big brain on Brad. Yeah, Sorry, no, guys, guys uh, this is, we're veterans. They're new guys, you know. They think they watch movies. They probably still use VHS, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And Will Smith. He realized he's hacked the system. Who else has hacked the system but the movie guys? That's right, we hacked it. We're inside the mainframe like Chris Hemsworth. It's on. Yeah, yeah, like Black Hat. Exactly totally like, Black like Black Hat. Hat. That's the reference you go to. You wouldn't go to the Matrix. The movie guys go straight Black Hat. Black Hat. Deep dive. Don't know who they are. Think they're hot stuff. They're gonna come in and go out just as quickly. That's it. Yeah, come in and go out just as quickly. That was a pleasant diss. Oh, you know. Okay, here's what's coming to snakes on a plane or singing in the rain or whatever they are, all right? We're gonna take them down. Down! That's what we do. You see? Yeah, we knock things over. Uh-huh. Anything uh -huh. that's in our way, we gonna kick the fall. door open, we smash it, we walk inside, we, ta we say, hey, that's what's up. All right, Danielle, you heard it there. The movie guy's making a lot of movie references. They're funny. They got some spirit. They got these shirts on. The John Derrick, Bo Derrick's uh, uh, late husband uh, back in the day there, and uh, Jeff Speakman. They're, they got movie references flowing out of their pores here. Um, movie references uh, like a crazy, and I like that even when they don't seem to get the reference, they will still reach for it, and I appreciate effort. Absolutely. Fake it till you make it exactly like my second marriage. So what we have here, too, on Inky and the Brain, again, like we said, they're here. A lot of spirit, a lot of pressure on them. Every team, both, all four competitors know what ri is riding on this match. You got to get it, uh, get your career started and established early. So, with that, uh, the promos out of the way. Uh, Danielle, uh, I, I got a question for you there. Uh, are you uh, ready to really get into the match here today? Oh, I believe I'm ready to movie a trivia showdown. Yes, that means it's time for the movie trivia showdown. <laughs> All right. Introducing first. With a record of zero wins and zero losses, making their debut in the movie trivia team's division, Paul Preston, Adam Witt, the Uh, 
look at this. Adam there in the John Derrick shirt. Paul in the Jeff Speakman shirt. Two sets of sunglasses. K -Pax. You guys no, are too nice. no, no, that's... How many points is that? Uh, that's zero. I don't think a lot of those questions... That, Sorry, I believe the answer you're looking for is white squall. Oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no let's break the rules when we get that. No, no, that might be actually negative 10 for each. All right. <laughs> negative 10 for you. And their opponents. With a record of zero wins and one defeat, Rachel Silvestrini, Devon Stewart, Inky, and the with the both teams at the desk. I will explain the rules for round number one. Each team is going to be asked eight questions. Danielle and I will alternate asking the questions. They'll be in different categories. We'll let you know those questions and their categories. Or the categories are the questions. Uh, Pop Sizzle will open the can. Here we go. Each question is worth one point. I will remind each team, you do get three JTE rules. Name after the famed Ecuadorian dart player at bowling alleys, Josh Tapia. You get three of those and one challenge per team each game. If you challenge a ruling, a question, or something that goes wrong, a bunch of people will swarm me and will determine how we're going to disappoint you. So, uh, with that, with the rules stated, are you guys ready? Inky the Brain. Ready. Yes, yes, I am ready. The movie guys. So ready. So ready. Then let's get ready to schmutter! Question coming in here. I'll ask first here. The question uh, comes to the category of fantasy, sci-fi, fantasy, slash, sci-fi. Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis star, star together in what 1986 sci-fi horror film? Um, have you ever seen Goldblum play uh, blues and jazz? I have not. I've heard yeah. it's delightful. He, and he might he, give you a hug after. He w does. He does. Oh, that's great. Five, four, three, Two and one. Pens are down. Looking for answers starting with Devon. The fly. That is correct for a point, sir. Adam. Vibes? Uh, incorrect, sir. Oh, wow. Incorrect, Rachel. The fly. We got the fly. Oh, fly. All right, keep it in. They're on the board, though. The movie guys are on the board. City Walker, bro. All right, and like question, question number two in the realm of comic book movies. Which film features the following characters? Night Owl, Silk Spectre, and Ozymandias. That, uh, sounds like something I had in college, you know what I mean? <laughs> Kidding. You're just, just the Spectre? Yeah, yeah, just, well, five, four, three, two, and one. Looking for answers starting with Adam. Who watches? The Watchmen. That's right. That's one point, Rachel. The Watchmen. We're yeah. on a board. Watchmen. Paul's got it. Devon uh, keeps the lead. Icky, 4-3 up. Uh, oh, what four, a fantastic three. bunch of nerds. Yeah, that's some nerdy stuff there. All right, third question comes in the category of dramas. Dramas in On the Waterfront. Terry Malloy was an up-and-comer in what sport? I've never been up and coming in anything in my life. I believe at least once, right? Yeah, yeah. the whole college incident. Yeah, well, we, we're not legally allowed to talk about it. Five, four, three. Two and one pens down, starting with Rachel looking for answers. Boxing. That's correct for a point. Paul. Boxing. That's a point. Devon. I've never seen that. I said wakeboarding. Uh, would have been <laughs> a better movie. <laughs> no. 
You, should, you should get a judgment on that. But he's in the water, right? Isn't that the name of it? <laughs> uh, Adam for a possible tie. The MMA we, of the 50s. That's boxing. right. All ah. tied up at I, five. I thought his Thank board you. said woke <laughs> boarding. <laughs> woke it's just boarding. a completely different sport. Same for me getting my woke vibe. It's a different movie, a whole heart. Yeah, woke boarding is a sport in Berkeley. Fourth question coming in, Danielle. All right, and now question number four. Good call, bro. In the realm of animated films, which 90s Disney movie has animal characters named Flit and Miko? Hmm. I, uh, I don't remember much of the 90s, just the music. You? Uh, I remember the pain of being a child. And huh. five, four, three, two, one, pencils down. Uh, that is going to be Paul. Pocahontas. That's correct. Devon. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I saw them in my head and couldn't remember. I said five will goes west, but I was like, that's good. Uh, now, see, that would have been a good time for him to write down okay, woke boarding. Out, Pocahontas. There. Damn it. Adam. We got Pocahontas. We got that one there, Rachel. I don't even want to show my answer. I got Save it wrong. Got it wrong. No, Movie guys, take a lead. Movie guys, take a lead. A bug's life. A bug's life. All right, we got a 7-5 game. Movie guys have moved ahead here. But Inky and the Brain, we're off to a great start. Fifth question comes in the category of action-adventure. Action-slash-adventure. What 2004 action film stars Denzel Washington and Dakota Fanning? How many Fannings are we up One to One of the now? best ever. At least seven. There's seven Fannings. I lost track. Yeah. Uh, there's Dakota, only one Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Missouri, five. Washington. Four. Washington, Three. Three. Two and one. Looking for answers starting with Devon. Even get his pen down. Yes, sir. Oh, no, yeah, I, I wrote something weird. Uh, uh, man on fire. That is correct. That, that is, is correct. correct. Whatever you wrote is correct there. Adam. Going to be your man in motion. That's right. Man Different on movie. fire. Said the equalizer. Equalizer. No, Paul. Man on fire. Man on fire. They take the lead. Nine, six, nine, six. I think these guys might know about movies. They are aware of them. I've heard that they've heard of them before. Question number six in comedies. Which star of TV's Friends co-starred in the films Analyze This and Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion? All right, again, talking about uh, decades we both don't remember well, I guess. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what didn't happen reasons. in the 90s. I didn't have any friends. Five, four, three, two, and one. Look for an answer starting with Adam. David Schwimmer? Incorrect, sir. Lisa Kudrow. Lisa Kudrow for a point. The hot one. Lisa, Lisa Kudrow. Kudrow. Oh, wow. Does oh, this count? I put Phoebe. Uh, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> close. Yeah? Yeah? Close. Yeah. It worked. It worked. We would not accept you that. You said which cast member of Friends, that's yeah, Phoebe. That's, that's true. That or Smelly Cat would not have worked there, so that is not going to be correct. It's a 10-7, oh. three-point lead for movie guys going into question Drat. number seven. Question number seven out of eight. This is in the category of horror thriller. Horror slash thriller. Thriller. Who directed 2004's Saw? I always get this category, and I say horror, or am I supposed to say horror? Horror. I have discovered every man yeah. I know in this business says horror, horror. and I'm the only Five, one that says horror. Four, horror. three, two, and one. Pens are down, and Rachel, we're starting with you. I didn't you. have it. You do not have you it. All put right. Something, Rach. Paul. James Wan. That is correct. Damn it. Devon. I put Sam Raimi. That is wrong, but a good answer well, overall. Great guess. Is uh, it the first letter of Lee Winnell's name? Uh, it is <laughs> not. It's no. not, but we're coming down the Y here at the end of round Just one almost. Something. You might be right. 11, 7, four-point lead. All right, as we go into the final question, which Danielle asked, we'll ask the pressure on Paul here. If he gets this perfect round, you get a bonus question just for him. Ooh. Be my Next guest. It. Ooh, the pressure's on now. I feel all excited. It's protein. And thank God, because it's rom com. Take your protein, bro. Rom com. I have to say, this right. is my sexy rom com voice. Come Who come played here, Playboy Henry Roth in 50 First Dates? Ooh, that was a real good one. Yeah, that's my oh, You want to do a rom com poster where I'm just like. Okay, great stuff there. Uh, coming down here in five, four. Can you repeat the question? Three. Oh, one repeat there. One JTE. Who played Playboy Henry Roth in 50 First Dates? All right. See if that worked, that tactic. Sometimes it's a Someone tactic, like sometimes it's a need sometimes. to repeat that question. You got this. Sometimes it's a stalling it technique. Like it does work. Oh, Five, <laughs> four, okay. three, two, and one. Pens down, starting with answer. Uh, uh, Paul, starting with answer. Is it Adam Sandler? That is correct. Oh. Devon. Oh. Devon. Oh. Devon. Oh. Devon. Oh. 
<laughs> yes, sir, Devon, Devon. This was a shot. You door. got yes. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Speaking of Adams. <laughs> I beg to differ. This was a shot in the dark. Oh, Justin oh, Theroux. No, no, no. All right. They pull close. All right. They pull close. But here we go. Paul, you got a perfect first round. You get a bonus question. You do not need to write this down. Just right. give us your answer when you're ready. Okay? Though we will time you down there. Okay. Your bonus question is, name the 2004 comedy that has the tagline, In Search of Wine, In Search of Women, In Search of Themselves. Sideways. That is correct. Wow. That is correct. End of round one. And a perfect, perfect Paul is having a great showing. Great start. The movie guys coming out, maybe not feeling that pressure that we kept talking about up top there. I'm wondering if we should test that whey protein for any substances. I absolutely think we should. Uh, it might get him uh, pushed out of some MMA matches, but not all. Um, we're going into round two. Danielle, round two is the make or break round. This is where the wheel, that fickle f uh, Mitchell mistress of fate is what I'm trying to say, uh, comes in here and maybe changes the game up here. Uh, as, as an observer and announcer in this game, uh, you, you got to look at this round, too. It's very important. Uh, it's a very important round. The wheel is terrifying because you never know. It's hard when you leave things up to chance. I like to be aware of things. I'm a control freak. Ask any of my boyfriends. <laughs> we will after this in a bonus Patreon content video. Um, <laughs> Here's the rules for round two. Round two, each team will get a spin. You get to spin again if you don't like the first uh, category that comes up. Unless you get opponent's choice or spinner's choice, then you have to keep those. Each team will get six uh, questions in this round in the category that you get there. Uh, you still have uh, your JT rules available, your challenges. Teams do get to steal. If the other team misses, you can confer. And, of course, don't forget, Two points if you just answer it flat out. If you ask for multiple choice, that becomes a one-point question. All right. Before we get into round two, the wheel for today's match is sponsored by our Schmodown patron, Nathan Ovendale. He is a first-rate Nate on uh, patreon.com slash Schmodown. The sponsored wheel slice for today's matches are... 2000s and Scarlett Johansson. Thank you, Nathan, and thank you all who support the movie trivia showdown. All right, movie guys, you are in the lead. You can choose to spin first or defer if you want the other team to go first. We got this. We got this. All right, they're going to go. They're going to go. John Derrick is up. That I is wonder. Adam. It, it looks like uh, before the match. We're not going to accept that. We're no. not going to. It's got to go one rotation. The spin is not in. The spin is not in. You got to one rotation at least, sir. Do you want to yeah. waste? Yeah. I saw him training this earlier with one of those wrist Oh, but it works, but it works. It's gone around, it it's gone around. <laughs> We're gonna take that spin. We're gonna take that spin. It might have backfired. Oh! Disney that. Films, do, do you guys want to keep Thanks. Disney Films? You want to spin again? We're gonna need an answer here shortly on what you want to do. You're gonna take right. Disney oh. Films. Disney oh. Films, Danielle will be asking your questions <laughs> here. Question. All right, here you go. Danielle's gonna ask you six questions in the category of Disney Films. Here we go. What classic Disney movie stars Fred McMurray introduces a substance called Flubber and features a flying Model T? The absent-minded professor. That's correct for two points, two points there. All right, second question. Entangled, what symbol decorates the lanterns released by Rapunzel's parents? All right, they asked for this category. I need an answer in five. In five, you give it to us? four, cool. three. Multiple choice. Is it A, an angel, B, a flower, C, a sun, or D, a moon? Come on, just give it to us. Come on, man. Son? It's correct for a point. Oh. It's correct for a point. Take a point. All right. Third question. Who voices social worker Cobra Bubbles in Lilo and Stitch? The debate is on. Five. Five, four, three, two, Multiple and choice. Is it A, Michael Clark Duncan, B, Ving Rhames, C, Tommy Lister, or D, Billy D. Williams? A. Incorrect for steal. 
Bing Rang. That's correct for Ethan. Ethan. No, Ethan. No, Ethan. Big dude. Ethan. Big dude. Deep points. Ethan. No, uh, Ethan. Fourth question coming in. Although Billy D would have been amazing. That would have been hot, yeah. <laughs> All right. Number four. And smooth. What is the name of the evil marionette master who kidnaps P Pinocchio to star in his shows? And five, four, three, two. And multiple choice. Is it A, Stromboli, B, Gideon, C, Figaro, or D, Lampwick? I forget, can those be repeated or no? Can those be repeated? I forget. Multiple choice? Multiple choice, yeah. A, Stromboli, B, Gideon, C, Figaro, or D, Lampwick? Debating furiously. Five, four, four, three, two, and one. Hey, that's, that's correct, correct for a point. <laughs> I, always, I always love when teams guess and just the letter, just the letter, <laughs> yeah, the just letter. any letter. <laughs> uh, fifth question out of six coming your way. In Ralph breaks the internet, who voices the search engine character knows more? Almost there. It's almost there. They still have a lead here, but they want to put their foot down on their opponent. In five, four, three, two. Multiple choice. Is it A, John Ratzenberger, B, Jack McBrayer, C, Alan Tudyk, or D, Alfred Molina? Might come down to another educated guess here. Can you see pull he, it out? he had to take off one set of sunglasses. <laughs> He's five, okay. four. <laughs> Three. Alan Tudyk. That's correct and for that a point. Correct. That's correct. You know, they're pulling it out there. All right, take it. Final question in your round. In Emperor's New Groove, Yzma's bumbling right-hand man, Kronk, gets information about Cusco's whereabouts by talking to what woodland creature? See, I made up for yeah. adding the yeah. hua. That's I how you sound that. smart. I love the hua. Five, four, four, three, multiple two. Multiple choice. Here we go. Is it A, a chipmunk? B, a rabbit, C, a weasel, or D, a squirrel? This might be no <laughs> shots in the dark. <laughs> but it's a strategy that's been working. Could you repeat those again? All right. A, a chipmunk, B, a rabbit, C, a weasel, or D, a squirrel? Paul and I'm looking at each other, shrugging shoulders. Fun. In five, four, Three, Weasel. Two. Incorrect for 1.2. Uh, squeaker, McSqueakin, it's a squirrel. All right, we got a steal. Oh, we got a steal. Got a steal. Love those squirrels. Love those squirrels. Well, Danielle, two oh. things I learned in that round. You have a beautiful ASMR voice. Thank you very uh, you much. I sound like huh. everyone's yeah. disapproving teacher. Yeah. Or the voice that comes to you The movie guys elevator. had a great round, but maybe they wanted more points to come out of it. And we got two big steals from Inking the Brain, which means you both are up for the spin. Who's going to give us a spin? Dad is going to go. All right. Well, looks like I'm doing it, then. He's going to go with those socks. Oh. Look at these socks. I really do love these socks. I don't know if the camera's getting them right now, but they're beautiful. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, they're beautiful socks. All right, spin coming in from Devon. Spin coming in from Devon. Come on, then. That's a good spin. Uh, and Devon is, Devon is the LeBron of spinning things smoothly. <laughs> it's so smooth, Danielle. There's just an, a grace to it. Um, possibly the best spinner of a generation. <laughs> he might be. Wait, wait, wait. Getting stop, past the funnest choice. Stop, stop. Is it going to be? Oh. They've got it! And again. They're going. Devon and his educated yeah. hands. You go to Will Smith. Yeah. Will. The educated yeah. hands have lent them You're to so Spinner's right. Choice. You yeah. are so right, Danielle. That was uh, a lot there. All right. And that's why you spin. All oh. right. <laughs> uh, you are going to get six questions in the category of Will Smith, a category we know that Devon up there has done very well in in the past. All right. I got you. First question. First question. Will Smith plays a character by the name of Cypher Rage in what sci-fi film? <laughs> Sounds like me in an aim chat. Five, four, three. After Earth. That's correct for two <laughs> points. <laughs> She told me to talk to all the answers with her, so I have to be able to spin. I got it. I got it. I just have to Second question. Second question. Will Smith and Gene Hackman star in this 1998 thriller. 
Enemy of the state. That is correct. He was jumping out of his shoes. I went to the movie theater. I got to see that one oh. half an hour at a time oh. over the span of two oh. weeks. Yeah, I know that. You just can't contain oh. this. All right, third question. Third question. James Cromwell plays a scientist and inventor named Alfred Lanning in what Will Smith film? I robot. That is correct for two points. What a round here. This and is a fantastic uh, round. Absolutely. Look at the confidence. Oh, look at the confidence. And we are only halfway through question number four. <laughs> In Hitch, who plays the shallow chauvinist Vance, who attempts to enlist Hitch to help him land a one-night stand with Casey? A lot of names in a movie I haven't seen there. I need multiple choice. I don't remember this white man's name. All right. A, <laughs> Jeffrey Donovan. B, Kirk Acevedo. C, Peter Sarsgaard. Or D, Jeremy Piven. Question's getting a little harder now. Getting to the next level. Yeah. What, was, what were these Caucasian names again? Uh, the first a, one? Jeffrey Donovan. B, uh -huh. Kirk Acevedo. C, Peter Sarsgaard. D, Jeremy Piven. Is Acevedo a Caucasian name? I have his face. Uh, his name. I think four. it's... Um, Three, oh, I, you want to two, that. Uh, Kirk Acevedo. That is incorrect for one point steal. <laughs> Jeremy no. Piven? Incorrect. That no. would have been a great guest in real life, but we're looking for Jeffrey, Jeffrey Donovan. Donovan. Yeah. Jeffrey ah. Donovan. All right. He's in his name. Right. 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 Two more. Like two more. Who plays the murder witness that Will Smith and Martin Lawrence have to protect in Bad Boys? Five, four, I know this three, white woman. two, multiple choice. choice. A, Teresa Randall. B, Jada Pinkett Smith. No. C, Vera Farmiga. Or D, no. Taya Leone. What was the very first name? Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh. Uh, looking for an a. answer. Incorrect for one okay. point steal. Name. Taya Leone. That is correct for one point steal. One point steal. Oh. They, right. they were closing the gap. Can y'all stick with asking Will Smith questions, please? Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Your uh, final question in this round: Who directed *The Legend of Bagger Vance*? The *Legend of Bagger Vance*. They picked the worst possible. I didn't. I didn't question. pick anything. Y'all picked the supporting cast question. Five. Give me the most choice, please. A. Robert Redford. B, Edward Zwick. C, Ron Howard. D, Peter Weir. I'm going to go C, Ron Howard. That's incorrect for one point steal. Robert Redford. That's correct for one point steal. It was a solid guess. It is a movie that is meant to be part of Well, yeah, Danielle, look, that's a great yeah. round, Frankie the Brain. Yeah. But what you saw there, sometimes the category is about the movies, not just the star in the categories nice. themselves. And I, and I think that's a, a good, uh, that's something fair. to consider that's for fair. strategy yeah. going forward. It's a good lesson for us all. They're not all going to be about the circumference of Will Smith's ears. <laughs> sometimes they are going to be, um, to take one from De Devon, the Caucasians he is surrounded by. Right, right, right. What uh, What is the circumference of his ears? Do you know it all? If I had to, if I had to guess the circumference of his ears, they're at least um, as many as you could fit on the head of a pin. I enjoy that answer. No, my all right, we are going to round number three. <laughs> round number three. Round number three will work like this. Each team's going to be asked to give me three numbers between one and twenty. One and twenty. Those numbers will correspond to a category, and your two point, three point, or five point question. You do not get multiple choice. Uh, I will ask which team member will answer each question in the two and three. You can confirm together in the five-point question. Also, each team has two JTE rules left, a repeat that you can use. Uh, so, because it is 2017, movie guys, you're in the lead. Please give Daniel and I three numbers. Uh, four, seven, and 19. Four, Good numbers. Seven, Good numbers, bro. Winning 19. numbers. All right. Very confident about numbers those guy. numbers. Inky in the brain. Uh, 16, 10. I won it. But I'll do a uh, 17. All right, 16, 10, and 17. Yeah. Inky in the brain, you'll be up first, and I will be asking your questions. Daniel will be ministering any questions to the movie guys if need be. But you first have to answer this question. It's going to be the number 16 is in the category of comedy. Who will be taking the uh, question? Comedy is the category. I'll take it. All right, Rachel, your two point question. Who plays the self-absorbed pop 
diva Samantha James, who Chris accidentally brings to his hometown for Christmas in 2005's Just Friends. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Anna Ferris. That's correct for two points. That's two right. points. <laughs> huh. I not All right. Uh, All right. Uh, Your three point question. Uh, you guys chose the number 10, which is the category of sports. 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 All right. Oh, this man. is a three point question for Devon. How well do you know sports? I know sports. Sports movies or sports sports? <laughs> Sports movies. Oh, okay. Sports right. movies. The movie right. trivia schmodown. Yes. Yes. The movie yeah. trivia schmodown. You For, got me there. Fair fair First question Who led the American League in batting average in 1980? <laughs> <laughs> with an average of 390. Yeah, Actually, it was 81. All right. Uh, your actual baseball. question. Like my black ass with no baseball. <laughs> your actual, Basketball, fool. Your actual question is <laughs> three points. Kevin Costner has been in five movies that prominently feature baseball. Name three. Name three. Can I talk to her? Nope. You got this. Baseball, Kevin Costner. Five. So I know it's not the bodyguard. Four. Okay. Three. Field. Two, the one with the field. If you build one. it, they will come. We were looking for either Bull Durham, Upside of Anger, Field of Dreams, For Love of the Game, and Chasing Dreams. Chasing Dreams. Coach Carter. I don't know. Uh, that would have been it, too. Like Mike. All right. So, Danielle, it comes down to the final question right now. Potentially, uh, if uh, Inky in the Brain gets this five-point question, they can confer. Uh, we kick it back to the movie guys. If not, this is a TKO victory. So, here we go. Five-point question. You chose the number 17. This is the category of disaster films. Disaster films. All right. Five point question. From 1998's Armageddon. Okay. Other than Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck, name three actors that played a member of their hand picked drilling crew. Looking for three actors' names. Not the characters. You, you say them because I don't want to say the names wrong. Okay, Five so points. Steve Buscemi. Okay. Michael Clark Duncan. Okay. You want me to say that? Yeah. Five, four, the pressure. three. What was it? What, what, Owen Wilson. Two. That's what I said. <laughs> they got it. They moved on. They got it. Wow. Great. Hold it up. Buscemi. Clark Duncan. Owen Wilson. Also, Will Patton, Ken Hudson Campbell, and Clark Heathcliff Broly. All right, Danielle, we got some excitement. We got some excitement because the, the movie guys have to uh, they have to do some answer in here. They have to do some answer in here. So, Danielle, you're going to be asking questions. The first one is a two-point in number four. Number four, the category, please. All right, and this is in the category of action adventure. Who will be taking this one? Who will be taking this one? Adam. Adam will be taking it. I'll take it. Danielle. What 90s action thriller stars Kirk Russell, Steven Seagal, and Halle Berry? All right. Great read on that question. Debate coming in. Looking in five. five, four, three, two, one. Extreme measures. <laughs> well, that would have been wrong either. We're looking for executive decision. Oh, executive okay, decision. Was, uh, all right. That's one of my favorite movies. They did. Stephen Seagal is only in about three <laughs> seconds of that movie. That's yeah, all he deserves it's to fantastic. be fantastic. They suck him out of a plane. Ooh. Oh, that's a great Ooh. way to go for Stephen Seagal. All right. Uh, you guys chose for your three-point question, which, Paul, you'll be taking. It is uh, number seven. Number seven. Okay. For three points, this is in... Famous actors and actresses. Three points. How many times has Johnny Depp been nominated for an Academy Award? All right, digging deep here. Paul's got to answer in five, four, three, two, three. That is correct. That is correct. Three points. Three points. Daniel. Three points. This game is closing up. It comes down to this final question. Final question. If they get it right, the movie guys will get a big victory in their debut match. They've been playing great. They had an early lead. But if they don't, 
Inky and the Brain gets their first victory Woo. as a team and moves forward to establish their name in this team's division. This is important for both teams. It is. Number 19 is what they chose, Danielle. What is that category? All right, for five points in the category of Denzel Washington. Oh. Denzel, Denzel, Denzel. We'd have went African American. <laughs> and the suspense. You can confer. You can confer. Denzel Washington plays a witty and debonair angel that goes by what name in The Preacher's Wife? I'm really just sprinkling in them. What's I love it. I, as, as a fan of the what's. I in love five, four, three, two. Gabriel. And your winner with a final score of 24 to 23. Yeah. Be a Big, giant victory. Dudley definitely, definitely does not sound like an angel. I understand. It is not an angel's name. Not what you All right, Devon and Rachel are celebrating there. Paul um, might need some more water. Would you like some water, Paul? Paul has just taken the whey protein in, in a big spoonful there. Adam's disappointed. Tough round. It all comes down to those final rounds sometimes, Danielle. This was an exciting game at any yep. point. This was anyone's game, and it really was. We, there were just a few key moments missed by both teams, and it could have been anyone. It could have been anyone. A you know, big lead early on for movie guys. Maybe that made them too comfortable, too confident. I don't know. I think it was two pairs of sunglasses. That two was what made them too confident. Two pairs of sunglasses. Devon didn't get what he wanted in the Will Smith round. A, you know, he didn't like a lot of the questions, but they pulled through. They got the big answer in the end there. Right now, we are going backstage with the one and only Jen Sturger. Thanks, guys. I'm back here with Inky and the Brain. Wow, guys, you are like the little engine that could in that match. There were so many times where I was like, oh, they're done. They're done. We knew we could. I'm going to go. I didn't. I mean, I was just more like, oh, I'm going to go start fixing my interview stuff. Oh, okay. But then you guys just would pull answers out of. Well, in I don't. <laughs> or our cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about your ass, but that's fine. Um, but then you landed on Will Smith. And man, you were hype. Well, actually, I was, we landed oh. on opponent's choice and got to pick Will Smith, which was amazing. I know I messed up a little bit, though. I don't usually mess up like that. But this time, the questions were about the people around him. And it's like, I don't know about his those people. You know, there are other people in Will Smith movies besides Will Smith, correct? When did this start? No, but he shines so bright. <laughs> he really, really does. But so, come down to round three. Mm -hmm. I could tell that you guys were starting to doubt yourself a little bit. How did you guys Never. pull it together? How does, is it this team chemistry you guys are building? We've got a great team chemistry. Uh, we work together, we know when to question each other, we know when, what our strengths are. And she knows how to keep me from blurting out answers, especially yeah. when they're wrong, like Cedric the Entertainer. Mm -hmm. Or when they're for the other team questions. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I could tell you wanted to scream a couple of them out loud. Every single time. Like when they asked the, the Kuzco question, oh I was God. like, Squeaker McSquaken. Okay, Squeaker, Isma. Every Disney question, we were both like, give it to us now. So I guess with this newfound confidence that you guys have, I mean, who are you looking at? Who do you want to take on next? I've got a few ideas. I've been looking around. Uh, you know, there's some really good competitors, and I'd really like to take them on. You know what? We're taking on Andrew Guy and Drew McQueenie. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're ready for that. You no, know, we're ready. We're ready. I did some. I did yoga before I came today, and I'm ready for anybody. I, Bring it on, Andrew Guy and Drew McQueenie. What's their group name? The, the Telelopicans. We take the family. I mean, El Familia. We taking all of them. I mean, I'm granted I'm Italian, but I'm not taking that on yet. I don't. Andrew Guy and Drew McQueen. We're 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 gonna talk about I this. I thought he was the brain and you were Inky. I'm starting to think it's. Oh uh, no. Are they interchangeable? Okay. Yeah. Andrew Guy, and Drew McQueen. It's not. See you. It's not true. <laughs> God save us all. Oh, movie guys. You know. I asked myself before the match started what it would look like if Will Ferrell and Steve Martin pledged a fraternity, and now I know. So here we are. Um, God, this got weird really fast. Um, you guys had a really great showing at Free For All, obviously. Uh, well, one of you did. Um, and now you're back, obviously, to play in teams. You have a little something right here. Um, what, fell, what, what fell apart out there? I know the Disney questions were probably a little harder than you anticipated. Is that really what got you guys? It was tough, uh, you know. Thanks, Nancy. But uh, the thing is, Emperor's New Groove is that really a movie? Come on! I mean, we wanted real Disney questions. I mean, Disney. Disney's been around for 50 years. They yeah. pick Emperor's New Groove. Come on! 
Yeah, come where, on. Where, where's your goofy movie questions? Come on, give us some real Disney questions. Sounds like some Hans Christian yeah. Andersen stuff. Yeah. Well, we're not done. Look, was it no. over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Yeah. Hell no. no. Was it over when Rocky fell on the ground because Creed punched him in the face? <laughs> no. Was it over when it seemed like Greg Kinnear wasn't going to get that patent for the intermittent windshield wipers? No. No. And we all came back, and we're going to do the same. And it ain't over now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not done. Yeah. Our intermittent wipers are still wiping. It's just in that period where they haven't wiped in a second, and you go, oh, is it on or off? And then they do. Boom! Greg Kinnear style. Yeah, see, Cheryl, the thing is, we come from improv, all right? Yeah. yeah we do. We, we, we roll with the punches. We mm -hmm. work off each other. Mm -hmm. our, our brains are like in sync, like Pacific Rim. Yeah. Go ahead. Give us a location that could fit right here. Boom. Um, right here in the studio. Yes, and? Yes. We'll be back. <laughs> the fuck just happened <laughs> all right you see some stuff there first of all the movie guys look I, they got to hold their heads up there Rachel 23 points nothing to shout about it absolutely. it looks like they're gonna be around for a bit here they're absolutely gonna be around for a bit you know take some more of that dry dry protein <laughs> powder by the fistful and you pick yourself up you dust the protein powder off of your shoulders and you keep it moving that is uh, a t-shirt worth of advice right there from Danielle but this stuff this is the major story coming out of this uh, inky the brain this big victory uh, Devon, maybe it's those socks, maybe it's his energy, maybe it was the fact that he was supposed to be at a barbecue today and he's missing out on the event. He want, he's thinking big. He wants to challenge Andrew Guy and McWeedy. They're going for but Rachel, I don't know. Uh, she didn't seem as confident. Do you think that this is a fantastic victory, but they did kind of, it, it's nothing to, nothing to not take pride in. They squeaked by with one point. Are they ready for this big of a challenge? I, that's a great question. It's like when you, when I go to a buffet and I go in for the first round and then I think I'm ready for the second round and I should stay away for a little bit. You well, just got to stay within your food lane or lane. Know, or in this case, maybe they're thinking that they're just going to skip straight to the shrimp. <laughs> uh, that is my favorite thing to do. Danielle, it has been an absolute pleasure doing this match with you. Uh, obviously, we're going to see more of you at the desk, but it's, it's great to have you here. Oh, it's always great to be here. It's so exciting. It's a lot of fun, and we want to thank you all for watching this exciting teams match today. Inky and the Brain staking their claim here with a big victory. Movie guys, they're here. Are they going to stick around? They think they will. They brought a lot to the table. So you guys out there bring a lot to the table with your support, whether it's a like, a share, a subscribe to what we do here, listening to the podcast, uh, or going to patreon.com slash down and support where you get exclusive matches like seeing this first or the full-length documentary of Danielle's ex-boyfriends talking about her control issues. That's I don't know what tier that is, but I'm uh, signing up for well, that Well, there's one. at least uh, five long-term ones, so tier five. It is a two-part Ken Burns-style documentary, but I want to thank you all again. Uh, Danielle, where can they find you and all your funny stuff? Uh, well, you can find me as always. Um, I have been on, uh, I've been on Screen Junkies, which is where I assume most of you know me from. I help do the movie fights. I've also been been helping to write some of the honest trailers so this month you'll be seeing me do some of those honest trailer commentaries you can find me on my wrestling podcast tights and fights which comes out every thursday and you can follow me on twitter at danielle radford if you want to see any of the other stuff i'm getting up to absolutely you can follow me at Ken so i can pre-order my book why we love star wars on amazon hey that's it for now we'll see you next time on movie trivia schmodown <laughs>